New now at 10, we are uncovering more details behind the homicide in Daphne late last month. One man was killed, another shot in the chest. All of this happening at the Audubon Apartments. And tonight we're learning what led up to that deadly shooting. Lacey Beasley in the studio now with that story tonight. Lacey. Yelanis, yeah, the suspect Joseph Gurley was arrested by U.S. Marshals in the days following the crime. He's charged with murder and attempted murder. Tonight, new court documents show it was a gun sale gone wrong. New court records reveal a fight broke out moments before gunfire here at the Audubon Apartments on County Road 64 in Daphne. According to the documents, the suspect, Joseph Gurley, a woman, and J. Matthews Bonnell Jr. drove to an apartment unit, but the guy who lived there was not home yet. The three entered the apartment and talked about selling several guns. That's when police say they started arguing. Court records show Gurley shot Bonnell multiple times killing him and when the resident of the apartment got home Gurley allegedly shot him in the chest that victim ran to a nearby apartment and called 911 police say Gurley drove away and was apprehended by u.s marshals days later in mcintosh a resident who heard the shooting says she's seen Gurley at the residence many times i was laying on the couch still watching tv and about sometime after that or whatever that's when we heard um what sounded like fireworks, but we knew it wasn't fireworks. We knew it was the shots or whatever. And we heard three shots take fire. And then we heard a young lady screaming and door slamming. I'm glad that he was arrested or whatever because he's been in the neighborhood quite a bit. Now, Gurley was given a $350,000 bond on the murder charge and a $150,000 bond on the attempted murder charge. Conditions of the bond include GPS house arrest, and he waived his prelim hearing. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.